Oklahoma's attorney general takes steps that may stop next month's scheduled execution of a man who's been on death road for decades and whose conviction may be the result of another man's lie. We've told you Richard Glossop's story before. CNN's Ed Lavendera has all the latest. In almost 25 years on death row, Richard Glossop has stared down an execution date nine times. He's been served his last meal three times before getting last minute reprieves. But Oklahoma's attorney general now says he can no longer stand behind Glossop's murder conviction and is asking the state's Court of Criminal Appeals to give Glossop a new trial. And how did Richard Glossop react? I'll never forget that look, uh, you know, of, of, of realization that, hey, you know, finally somebody in the state is listening and, um, uh, you know, now he has a chance. Glossop was sentenced to death for the 1997 murder of his boss, Barry Van Trees. They worked at a motel in Oklahoma City. But it was another employee, Justin Sneed, who admitted to killing Van Trees. Sneed, who is serving a life sentence, was spared the death penalty in exchange for testifying that Glossop offered to pay him for the killing. The Oklahoma Attorney General says Sneed is a compromised witness, though. An independent investigation found that prosecutors destroyed and withheld evidence from Glossop's defense attorneys. There's also evidence that Sneed regretted his testimony. In letters, he writes, do I have the choice of recanting my testimony? And there are a lot of things right now that are eating at me, some things I need to clean up. Well, you can have this hope. It's like having a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel, finally. Earlier this year, Richard Glossop spoke with CNN from death row about the psychological toll of fighting to get state officials to hear his pleas of innocence. Knowing that you're going to die just eats at you and eats at you and eats at you. I've tried to do everything in my power to avoid that from happening. I've been through this so many times that it's still scary. It will always be scary until they finally open this door and let me go. Oklahoma's attorney general and the independent counsel he appointed both say calls to give Glossop a new trial doesn't mean they believe he's innocent, but that there must be absolute faith that the death penalty is administered fairly and with certainty. Right now, with this news, this is probably the, the greatest sense of relief he's, he's experienced in, in years. We have hope. We have real hope for the first time in a long time. And, and Rich certainly feels an incredible sense of, of, of uh, uh, hope for the future, um, anxiety over what might come next. And it's not exactly clear when the Oklahoma Court of Criminal Appeals will determine Richard Glossop's fate. Uh, as of now, Jake, his execution is still scheduled for May 18th. So as you said, the clock is still ticking. Jake. All right, Ed Lavendera, thanks so much.